In this video, I'm going to look at the substitution reactions of alcohols, but specifically the reaction of alcohols with hydrogen halides. So the thing we need to know is that the hydrogen halide is made in situ, so it's actually made in the reaction using a mixture of a sodium halide and sulfuric acid. So suppose you wanted to react your alcohol with hydrogen chloride. So to make that in the reaction, you would take sodium chloride, so that's the sodium halide, sulfuric acid. They would react together and form your hydrogen chloride in this case. And the other product is sodium hydrogen sulfate. So once that's made in the reaction, in situ, then that can then react with your alcohol. So the reaction's typically carried out by heating under reflux. So that's this apparatus here. So you would have your alcohol, your sulfuric acid and your sodium halide in your reaction flask. And you'd fit a condenser in a vertical position. And that's obviously what we call reflux. And you would let that bubble away and the reaction would take place in the flask. So we'll do a couple of examples. So the first one we'll look at is proton one all refluxed with sodium chloride and sulfuric acid. So there's the reaction you've already seen to make the hydrogen halide in, in situ there. So then that would react with the proton one all. So literally all that's gonna happen, remember this is a substitution reaction. We're gonna substitute the hydroxyl group of the um, alcohol and we're gonna replace it with this halogen atom here. So the products of that reaction are one chloropropane and H2O. Second example we'll look at is a cyclic alcohol, so cyclobutanol refluxed with sodium bromide this time and the sulfuric acid. So there's the first reaction, the generation of the hydrogen halide, so hydrogen bromide in this case. So again, we're just getting a straightforward substitution of the OH group in the alcohol for the halogen atom. So the product, the organic product is called bromocyclobutane. And again, we're making an H2O molecule. It's a really straightforward reaction um, and you can apply it to pretty much any alcohol that you're faced with. 